In this episode of Turf Toe Show, we talk about Aaron Rodgers making his comeback after a broken collarbone. We talk if the Vikings are actually legit. And we talk if Case no. Keenum, if he happens to win the Super Bowl, if he should keep his job or not. So stay, stay tuned. tuned. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to an episode of Turtle Show, sent by TurtleShow.com. Yeah. We got a guy back today, so we don't have to have two boxes. Yeah, Glow Man's back. We can. Uh, yeah. We got three boxes the today. Return. The triangle formation. It's more like a rectangle. Yeah, it's. <laughs> yeah, it could be like what was it? Like like Tetris. Tetris. Well, the way it's set up, it's more like a like a straight line. Okay. Like, yeah. Like yeah. A, I mean, well, you're talking about you're talking about camera <laughs> angles. I'm talking yeah. about like, actual <laughs> real life setup. <laughs> yeah. But I'm Mike Floyd, and I cl- completely disrespect the Cardinals. I don't think they do anything right. They got beat by the Redskins, which is garbage. Well, did you also see who their quarterback is? Yeah, I, d- I don't respect anything for that team. Like, they're a bunch of old guys who should just retire. Arizona doesn't deserve a team. Wow. They don't. What have they done? Wow. They've, they've done a lot. They've done a lot. Like I mean, what? They, they have, okay, first of all, they have David Johnson. I mean, he got they hurt, keep so breaking them. They, they, they literally David break them every year. That's 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 not the team's fault. It's, I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I know whose fault it is. That's, that's luck, man. That's luck. That's just that's a roll of dice. You, you know what I mean? That's they're trying to hurt you. Yeah. Like you uh, know, you're trying to hurt Dave now. You got to try to hurt him, or he gonna hurt you. Right. Try right. to tackle his big ass. No. Oh. Man, I'm uh, Stephen Harris, 303. Broncos finally got a couple wins under our belts, but uh, and Oswald won the game for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I. I I guess I should be excited about that because it's a win. We but y'all beat the three and eleven Colts, so <laughs> we had to beat the hot hand to cover the set. Right? I'm gonna get to that in a minute, but <laughs> what a uh, glow! I'm uh, looking at this E next to the Green Bay Packers right now. E for eliminated, mm, mm, mm. and um, it's a disappointing. <laughs> Very disappointing. I mean, what y'all expect? You had Brett Hundley starting. Is, Brett Hundley won them a couple of crucial games, which is why they had the chance to even be in the talk of the is, playoff hunt going into this week. The, this past that week. Green Bay lost a couple of close ones this year without Aaron Rodgers. They've mm-hmm. also won a couple of close ones <laughs> with Aaron Rodgers. But um, I'm just going to take this time to – I'm very happy that he's back. I'm very happy he's healthy. I'm very happy he could throw three TDs, three picks, a little upsetting, but don't sleep on Carolina's defense. Carolina's defense can win games, which they they proved. Mm-hmm. It's just that they Cam Newton can lose games, and that's going to happen. Also, what else is going to happen is that the Steelers are going to lose. They're not going to make it to the AFC Championship. I promise you. Isn't Antonio Brown hurt, right? Oh, he's yeah. only hurt for one week though. Oh, okay. Um, but I'm saying that you know because Green Bay lost to the, the Steelers off Boswell, and then Boswell went next week and won another game winner, and then next week won another game winner. Um, so. I don't think you have a kicker that wins three game winners for you. Nah, player. Nah, with all, those, with all that talent on that team, and you winning game winners with field goals, yeah, I'm not buying into well, it. They, they haven't, they haven't showed the ability to put teams away and pull away. They can't pull away. Wait, you which team are y'all talking about? Do you know who they're playing right now? The last two games are the Texans and the Browns. Yeah, I think they're okay. They're gonna be okay. That don't mean that they can rest everybody. They literally not, for two weeks. They will not be in the AFC. Why would they? Why would they rest? I, I think that's against the Texans and the Browns. Might as well. I mean, maybe, maybe like in the they third already got or fourth a, quarter. But they why? got playoff positions already. They're done. No, they, they need to they need to keep everybody rolling because every time you rest somebody, it's 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 a flip of a coin, man. Because you rest them and they come into the playoffs rested, or they come into the playoffs rusty and they come in rusty and they lose. I put it this way: whoever Pittsburgh plays, they will lose to. Whether it's Jacksonville, whether it's Kansas City, they, either either team will beat them straight up. That's if Kansas City can make it, man. Kansas City's gonna make it. They're leading their division. Eight and six don't matter. They'll still go. I mean, that's all it's going to take from the AFC West. It's not going to take much. Yeah, I mean, Chargers, Chargers, two little two. Chargers on the opposite end lost two game winners, lost two games off field goals. So they could be really like they could have mm-hmm. been nine and five right now. Um, yeah, their 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 field goal game is young ho. Yeah, young, young ho. ho. He just he is just, he still there? He was a no, young they, ho. They cut him, I'm about to say, God, no. you call, you, hell, your rookie year you caught two games. No, I'll play. You gone. <laughs> You already know. You, you played yourself. I remember there was a huge thing about him being like the first like Korean American or something like that, or Korean yeah. person to be a kicker in the NFL. I'm like, who cares? Yeah, he's a kicker. I mean, he's breaking barriers. You know, you get if he was a Korean cost. quarterback, I'd have been like, all right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but a I Korean mean, kicker? Man, you, the kickers are so important kicker. in this game. No, he wasn't a very good kicker. But uh, no, oh, yeah. I, I mean, see, I think Steelers should have won that game. 
I mean, they had chances. There's that call on the that call in the end zone that was a touchdown, and they reversed it. Was it where he fumbled the ball? No, no, no. <laughs> not that one, right? Okay. Not, not that one. The one uh, to uh, Jesse James. Yeah, to the he, tight end. Uh, when he they, they called it an incomplete pass. Yeah, was, where they said it, the ball moved when it hit the ground after it broke the plane. Yeah, that's like a legit rule. That's yeah. like legit rule. Yeah. Like, I mean, what do you mean? How does it know? Yeah, that's been a rule for forever. That's but why the, the death catch didn't count. But the ball broke the plane. Even if it breaks the plane, if it breaks the plane, but he lets go, if he's already down, it, it's, that ball's down, bro. And then once it hits the ground, and it fumbles out. It didn't fumble out. It just, it just, it just it, wiggled it, a little If it too. wiggled, it he should have kept his worked on his grip. That's his fault. I mean, his hand was under it. Yeah. It hey, was, man. It if it wiggle, wiggles. <laughs> okay, but I thought the ground can't cause a fumble. Obviously, it can because they've been calling him all week. No. They didn't call I, it. it wasn't a fumble. It I mean, not a like, fumble, but. Really passed. They say he didn't have possession all the way through. But he, but he had possession. Exactly. It, the ball just moved and they couldn't. But we yeah. really don't know what, what's a catch, man. Like, they no, still no, have it defined. But also, his knee was down. And he wasn't touched. Yeah. I don't know. Then, yeah, you're right, though. We know what the fuck is a catch. I mean, but it's, it's the Steelers, though, so nobody really cares. Man, what, what I just don't like? want to see the Patriots win. That's all. I mean, I would like to see the Jaguars go to the Super Bowl. That'd be yeah, kind of cool. Uh, they have the defense for it. Yeah. I mean, it would just be nice to see some dif- different teams and like the Jaguars and the Rams. I'll watch that one. It'd be something different. I mean, I just wish I would have had the right receiver for the Jaguars in fantasy football this week. That would have helped me out a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a fucking receiver from the Jaguars, but he got injured on the first play of the first game of the year. <laughs> God. Hey, so I was going to ask you, how y'all feel about the, uh, the owner of the Carolina Panthers selling his team? What is okay? So all I know is that he apparently has some sexual allegation allegations against him from back in the day, or what? What's what's the complete story yeah. on that? Because I I'm lost. All, all I know is I saw something about sexual allegations, and then now I see that he's saying he's going to sell the team at the end of the season. Yes, yeah, so I heard the same thing, and then I heard he uh, a former scout for the team. He used like a racial slur against him, and. I guess all this stuff started getting out, and he's like, all right, well, I'm done. I'm going to sell the team. Well, what I thought was interesting, I saw that they, he bought the team for like $116 million. Mm-hmm. The team's worth $2 billion now. So He's going to make a lot of money. Who, like, who really wins in this tri- like this sale? It's like, Well, then, I mean, think about all the money he's made since he's had the team. Yeah. You know what I mean, plus whatever he And if he was the sole it. outright owner of that team, he's going to make all that cash. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he's not. So is it really punishing this guy for his fucking no? His it's stuff? not. It's not. But is this? I mean, okay. Is this? Is this a punishment towards him? I think. Like, is, are, is somebody in the? Is, is the NFL? Is there somebody or his lawyers? Is someone telling him to get out? I think it's probably his lawyers because they're probably looking at the same situation with the, um, with the was it the Clippers? No. Uh, Who was it? Was it the Clippers? Wasn't the Clippers? I think it was the Clippers. The yeah. one with the uh, the crazy owner was like, yeah. yeah, I don't care if you if you damn just don't yeah. go to the house or whatever. <laughs> don't post it on Instagram. Yeah. I think they were trying to make sure it wasn't the same situation. So. I mean, I feel like he'll assume, but I think he knows he's guilty. So I think he knows guilty. He knows, he knows it's true. So before he gets out, before he, you know. Okay, but what, what, what's he guilty of? Being a racist? I mean, because there's a lot of people in this country that Absolutely. Well, okay, would be yeah, guilty we, of being a racist. Well, detailed accusations not, made against him include sexual harassment of multiple women and use of a racial use of a racial slur. A racial. That's just the that's just the evidence of though. Like, I mean. I don't see how. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are people that are closet racist, maybe. But I mean, when, I, you, when it gets exposed, you got to make a decision, and, and you don't want to. I guess, I guess the point I'm trying to make is there's people out there that are racist. Yeah. But you know, normal people, like like normal. I mean, just like you and us, who just live normal lives. They're not right. in the upper echelon of wealth and stuff like that. You don't see them losing their jobs or being forced out of their jobs because they use racial slurs or promote that sort of thing. It. It does. It, it does hit their bottom line either way. Like even yeah. that situation, your owner being that type of person, you don't want that in your. It, it just it, the way football is becoming now. It's becoming more people. More women are following now. More people right. are following. Even though, given all the protests and whatnot, people say it's going down. I, I think it's a different crowd of people are following it now. Right. But I, I think that he's like you know I'm gonna step down. Maybe he's tired of it. You never know. Maybe yeah, that could be a thing too, because he's 81 years old. Yeah, maybe he's like, I mean, you know what, man, might as well do it now. He's not going to just leave it to, does he have kids? I mean, that's usually like, you know, the sort of things they're going to say. From what I'm reading, some sort of trust. In the article, it states that the, uh, 
Yeah. They were supposed to sell the team within two years of his death. Oh, so there was already plans, I guess, in the works to sell the team. So you can't. You, I mean, I guess you can't say it's because of. I think he's just kind of sped the whole thing up. Yeah, yeah because he, the, the added stress and whatnot. The, you don't want to take him out the game early with all that stress. I mean, because when I think about like with the whole protest thing, y'all saw. I don't remember the Panthers really have any players that really protested, right? Maybe Cam said some stuff in his like his interviews, but that's about it, right? Yeah, no, not, not, not that I can think of. Not, nothing that was too publicized or anything. But. Well, if this guy was stop telling ladies he'll shave their legs. Like, literally, he's, like, made advances to women, including asking whether he could shave their legs and ask them, and for them to give him foot rubs. He's like, bro, what, what's your Why would you, like, I mean, honestly, I don't know what's up with people when they feet <laughs> and his leg things. People are weird, man. Would you don't like them toes, bro? But that, 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 was, that was his thing, though? Send me some pictures of your feet. That was his thing, though? Let, like, let, let me shave your legs, not... Well, I also read that he would buckle in their seat belts. <laughs> And so he would like linger a little bit too long while pushing. <laughs> and I'm first of all, I'm like, I mean, I, why am I letting another person put my seatbelt on? Right, like a grown man. Am I right? holding like two cups of coffee or something like that? <laughs> like, there's no cup holders in this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't. Want... Getting back to quarterbacks in the, <clears throat> the NFL and everything. So we were briefly talking about Aaron Rodgers coming back, mm-hmm. and who they play against again? I completely Panthers. the Panthers. So how'd y'all think about his performance coming back after a broke collarbone? Almost 300 yards, three touchdowns, three picks. Better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, the picks are, you know, a little uh, bit much for him. But. Man, that's, that's, I mean, that's a lot for him. It's just, I mean, the Panthers are not a – it's not like it was a bum defense he played against. Right. But it's the fact that I mean, he's probably a little rusty and probably like – I mean, that deep, I mean, it wasn't like they were like just flagrant interceptions. They were just – I mean, I mean, good plays by the defense. I mean, and then right. Yeah, you have to remember he's he's not. It's not like he's some Aaron Rodgers is a bum quarterback. No, it's not. I mean, he. I mean, I think that a uh, little rust and, and mm. going against a defense like that. I mean, it, it's not expected, but I mean, he was he was really trying. You know, he was trying to mm-hmm. keep them in it. And then all the turnovers, man. All the way, like what five turnovers, man. Like, yeah. and then you lose by a touchdown, like that. Usually, you get blown out when you lose by, when you have five. Turnovers. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like so. I really think that, I, I mean, I, Renee, if he keeps his contract, he come, comes back next season, man. Packers really need to to to, to ante up and, and get some protection for him and get some ballers on the defense, man. Like, mm-hmm. like I mean, but the thing is, they have ballers on the defense. That's what I don't understand. They, I mean, getting rid of Peppers was, was the worst thing in the universe. But get some pass rushers, get something for this defense, man. Because they have linebackers, they got the secondary. They just need a little bit more pressure, and they'd be they would be at Jacksonville too. They got ballers. Like, I don't understand. Like. I'm disappointed they're not gonna be make the playoffs. I understand why, but man, I, I I wish severe pandemonium and chaos for the Vikings. Man, I wish like I just hope <laughs> like I'm I just really hope bad things. I'm I, I'm and that's messed up for me to say, but I don't care. Like I hope like as long as no one dies, of course I don't want nobody to die. But, but they probably blow their knees out. They let Teddy Bridgewater out there. I mean, I mean honestly, no, I just want what's my man Star? I think his name is the run the linebacker. I, I want him to just spontaneously combust <laughs> in front of his family, and like just be able to, at the Christmas party, just like hey, guts everywhere, ruin everything. But other than that, I'm just I don't know. I think he did well. Rogers did well. Randall Cobb balled out, balled out. They did what they were supposed to do. Minus the turnovers, they, I think they win that game. But so mm, Cam threw two picks too, so it ain't like. But well, so he's also there for four TDs, right? Yeah, but that's but on, honestly, if you don't get any pressure to Cam, Cam will do that to anybody. Okay, okay I'm lying. No, he won't. No, he won't. He'll throw picks. He just was on it. He's focused. He's on that wave, man. He's yeah. on that. He's on it right now. But I mean, come playoff time, he's gonna fall off. Yep. You can't handle the pressure, man. You saw him in the Super Bowl. Like, yeah, I don't see like if, if I don't see if the Panthers go up against like a, a Rams team. I don't know. I still don't think this Rams team is legit. You, you know, so? <clears throat> I, I mean, don't think they'd be legit if they've got to like run it up. They've got to, they've got to like. I think they'd be do better if they say put put the Rams where the where the Seahawks where the where the um, Falcons were last year in that, in that Super Bowl, and the Rams will win that. The Rams will not will not choke with a lead like that. I, no, no, the, no, I don't think it would because they just have too much talent. Like golf, golf, you get golf in a close situation. I don't know. I don't think he can handle that pressure even with the talent he has, but. They got a running game that is no joke, man. Right, and that's opening up everything else for them. I mean, you, you saw game. you saw what they just did to the Seahawks. But I the mean, Seahawks granted, are missing a lot of players. Yeah, on yeah, granted, granted, yeah, they are. 
Yeah, but, but you just too many weapons. You got deep threatened Watkins. You got Rock Woods as your route runner. You got Gurley who's just man everything. But the Rams defense was able to contain uh, Russell Wilson, which has been the reason the Seahawks have even been in the last few games. They held him to only a touchdown, and but they had seven sacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you it was yeah. it was insane. Like the Seahawks couldn't do anything this past week. Yeah, so I really think that that uh, I don't know. Uh, they, um, it's, 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 it's you really can't really call it. So in the NFC, you brought up the Vikings though. The Vikings. Yeah. I mean, they're they're looking good. I I I, I ain't feeling. They let they let Bridgewater back on the field uh, yeah. in the fourth quarter, right? Like early fourth quarter. Yeah, it, it was towards the end of the fourth quarter. The game was already wrapped up. They'd already blown out. I think uh, uh, Cleveland, the Bengals. Yeah. The, the Bengals had put in McCarron. Like they they took out. They knew what uh, time it was. Yeah, they took out Dalton. You know, they both both sides were conceding and stuff like that. His first uh, his first pass back was an interception. But you know, Ooh, Bridgewater. Yeah. <laughs> wah, wah, I didn't wah. know that. Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, his first pass back was an interception, Hit. but the I mean the team the team loved it. The team loved it. The crowd loved it. I mean, it brings up an interesting situation for the Vikings. I mean, they're on a roll. They're one of the best teams in the NFC right now. They have the weapons: uh, Stephon Diggs, Celine, uh Rudolph, Rudolph. I, what, I mean, what's their what's her name back's name? Murray McKinnon. Murray and McKinnon. Murray and McKinnon. Mm-hmm. I mean, they. they they got options on you on the defense. Uh, defense is yeah, defense is everybody. I mean, you got Xavier Rhodes. As long right. as he's there, as long as he's there, and and uh, they'll be all right. Yeah, I mean they they're, they're primed to make a run into the playoffs, but the thing that's going to be interesting, say that like I think I brought this up before. Hypothetically, they make it to the Super Bowl, win the Super Bowl. Who's the quarterback next year? Ted Bridgewater. They use Case Keenum as trade bait to get some other stuff that they want. Is that I the best move? Am that not is a not. Fan. That's not. I just don't see it as a good move. Maybe I, I, I feel like I don't like black quarterbacks. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> because they they tend to not live up to the expectations that we have for them. I think that's the reason why. Because we look at like Steve McNair made all his Super Bowl failed at the end. Uh, Donovan McNabb made it couldn't mm. pa- pass the NFC Championship. Okay. Uh, Cole Vic. Pepper, Vic. Yeah. I mean, all these yeah. big name guys that we put. As black guys, we were like, hey, we're living behind these guys, yeah. and they never live up to our expectations. Gr- I think that's the reason why, because I'm the same way. As of late, man, yeah, like Griffin, I, be, I, I have, I mean, Cam, I like Cam. Uh, if he would just get rid of that crybaby attitude he has when he yeah. loses, I think he'll be all right. But that's why I'm like riding high on Deshaun Watson right now. It's like, he's showing the intangibles that everybody keeps talking mm-hmm. about to be I decent. I wouldn't say great yet, because he hasn't really played a full season. I'll say you be. I'll say you be all right. You know. I, I honestly, out of all the black court, but I would still say Cam Newton's probably the best one. All I'm saying, like, just to slowly get to that point. Uh, like, yeah, I, but I need to see. I need to see what they do when they get Phil on here. Oh yeah, true, true. I yeah. need to see what they do there. I mean, he was he was that guy at Clemson. He was, I mean, he's not bad. I just, I just, it's hard for me to believe right now. It is. I mean, he just has to. Even if they get film on him, just keep playing the way he knows how to play. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's just, but they, what my thing is with with him versus, I feel like he doesn't have as many weapons as Cam does. But I, I feel like with 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 Hopkins, you really Hopkins is not. That's Hopkins, the only guy on that team. Though. But Hopkins is right. not. Hopkins reminds me of Tyreek Hill, man. He, he's not a good route runner. He runs two routes. He's just fast. Yeah, your route runner is, is Fuller. You know, and and him, he's he's that guy for real. I don't know who they're tight in. They like two tight ends. And who's that cat off the uh, the Cowboys that comes off the bench? The, what, the, the who? The receiver to play for the Cowboys that comes off the bench. Not Williams. The uh, plays behind Dez. Williams? It's That's not it. Williams. It's not Beasley. It's not a. Uh, I thought it was Williams. Williams. What is he? Got? Williams. Whoever that guy is, I'm thinking of. That's who they should go after. That guy's a route runner, and he's already in Texas, so it's not that far of a drive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think that, but Watson could could show up. But far as like Bridgewater, I'm I'm a. Uh, well, Bridgewater is gonna be just like. Oh, Lamar Jackson's going to be. They're going to be the same guy. They just yeah. Be, like, but the thing is, Lamar Jackson's going to get moved to receiver. He just needs game. He's going to be like another type. Uh, was it Terrell Pryor? Terrell Pryor. Terrell Pryor. Yeah. But that's the thing. Like, but I don't know. Pryor just isn't hungry enough. Lamar Jackson, I don't know. I, I, I don't think Bridgewater should be the franchise quarterback. But he was doing well when he was healthy. But he was. I, I agree. But it's been almost two years since he's played. Yeah. And his his whole game. Like, the whole way he plays, I'm sure in his mind, has to be changed up. After going through the injury that he went through, there's no way he's – I don't think there's no way he's thinking about 
taking the ball and running around. Oh no! Well, I Definitely mean, it not. was a freak accident. I think that he. I mean, I it was. Think, I don't think he yeah. even know. I, I think that maybe not. I don't think he even knows what even happened. Like, how, it probably just happened so fast. He probably was like, "What? I was just running. <laughs> I, I was dropping back. Next thing and I know, it, my leg yeah, yeah. explodes." Like, I don't know, man. I just don't. I mean, the way Keenum is playing, Keenum deserves a chance. Just like Nick Foles deserves a chance. Nick yeah. Foles, when he was a starter, he was not. He was not a bum. Like, he, no, he, was he like, wasn't. He wasn't. You know. That's why that's why the Eagles are still in a good chance to at least win a couple games in the playoffs. All knows I was sweating gonna... Sunday though. Yeah, all, uh, so, cause it's all, it's all of a sudden the Giants decide to show up and just like how like this is the time you show up yeah. like really like, okay. Eagle, Eli was throwing perfect passes. There. Bro, I right. was freaking out. I'm like, out of all the times to do <laughs> right, this, like you right. do this now. Eli was looking like Super Bowl Eli. Like. <laughs> Eli, Eli can still. I, I just man, in a perfect world. Aaron Rodgers wouldn't have got hurt, and Eli would be on Jacksonville Jaguars. And guess who'd be in the, play, in the Super Bowl? Both those teams. I don't care what nobody says. <laughs> I don't care what nobody says. I was like, I, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I, I, I'm serious. I mean, but Vikings, they, they look good, but they're not. No, no. Keenum needs to stay because you want a backup like that. Or, or make them compete for that shit. Yeah, I can see that. Make them compete, man. I mean, Keenum. So you're saying, you're saying, again, in this hypothetical situation, Keenum is a Super Bowl winning quarterback. You're going to make him compete for his spot. Yes. yes. That's no, that's ridiculous. Yes, that's ridiculous. No, he just won. He just took your team to the Super Bowl and won the Super Bowl for you. And but then, the no, then again, Sam Bradford did win a couple games for him. So you're saying Sam Bradford should compete too? They all three should compete, and well, then when no. they give it to Teddy Bridgewater because the fans want Teddy Bridgewater. That, that's ridiculous. You got to keep continuity, man. Keep the team together, dude. Look at your. Has your team kept the continuity? Because the, the, quarterback, the quarterback retired. <laughs> I mean, you can't do anything about that. <laughs> and it's been it's been back and forth with Simi and Brock and, and Pax because everyone gets getting hurt and bit playing yeah, shitty. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's too many picks and turnovers. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's a mess. No, he got to compete for it straight up because straight up. No, I mean really because when you you can you have that leeway to be a mediocre quarterback when your defense is baller. Even if you're a Hall of Fame legendary quarterback, but you're you're, you're, you're diminishing Peyton Manning, you still won a Super Bowl because of your defense. Right, Jacksonville's but, all hanging by a thread because of their defense. And it's not saying hanging by a thread because Blake Bortles is not dope. No, he's, he's never not. been. No. He's not. Like, if you can't blow teams out when they put an eight in the box to watch off for poor Fournette mm-hmm. and you're still barely winning games and your, t- and your defense has to get like four interceptions yeah. and two interceptions and a touchdown for y'all to win. No, no. I mean, that might work this season because everybody just seems to still want to throw on these guys. Yeah. But, which I don't <laughs> understand. But um, it's, it, can, it can work for them this year. But mm, they need a better quarterback. And, I mean, I don't know. Case Keenum, even if he wins the Super Bowl, he still he needs to fight for that job. Nah. nah. Yeah. You think he should just have it? Is Bridgewater is trade Bridgewater? Negative. Yeah, no. I think if they win the Super Bowl, case it's Case Keenum's job, and he just keeps it till he, till he fucks it up, and then they lose. Then they bring in Teddy Bridgewater. But you don't come into, you don't come into training camp in the offseason and say, oh, we're going to have a, you know, a competition. I that, would. That, that's your quarterback. Man, that's your quarterback. I think he's run. He's run out of like four leaf clovers and and rabbit's feet. I think <laughs> rabbit's feet. <laughs> no, I'm saying Keenum's ran out of that, man. We might. See, you never know. You not, with him, you don't know. When you don't you know. See, you don't know that one touchdown, four interception game. You don't know. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet. It's probably building up. It's probably building up. Hey, as long as the defense keep him out there, he got enough of opportunities. <laughs> I mean, really? You, I mean, that, that is true. Shit. Well, jumping back to. Um, to like the South a little bit. <laughs> Zeke Yellett's coming back. And Jason Garrett is unsure if they're actually going to use him. Do the Cowboys still have a chance? In playoffs? Yeah. Technically, yes. Okay. They so. don't, but they, they do. It's one of those weird situations. They need a bunch of people to lose. Hmm. They got to beat up for certain amount of teams. But knowing what Ezekiel Elliott brings to that team, why would a head coach say, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm unsure of how we're going to use him? Because like, he's a dumbass. Like you, why would you not? I mean, he's basically been wrestling for the past six weeks. It's just been working out. I mean, yeah, he's back to his fucking pre pre draft shape now. Okay, so put his ass in. I and mean, I would run him like forty times. Be like, don't you ever put your hand <laughs> again, <laughs> coach? I'm tired. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Do you not see our record right now? Right, right. How <laughs> god tired you are. So that, that that's what he, that's what Jason Garrett is saying. He doesn't know if he's gonna put him in. Well, Jason Garrett is a freaking idiot anyway. I mean, I've always thought he was a moron. I don't know why. What's his face keeps him around, but 
Because Jerry Jones keeps everybody around, except for the guys that make mistakes and then are found to be acquitted of that and didn't do it, but then we he lets them go. Well, What's when they hang out with certain people that we know. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, um, Lucky Johnson or Lucky something? Yeah. Lucky Whitehead? Whitehead. Uh, he was an idiot anyway. He got his dog stolen. <laughs> but he didn't do anything. It's not his fault. Hey, who's the, uh, the player that got injured last night? What are you talking about? I, I thought somebody got their leg hurt last night. A Falcons player. Coleman? I don't know. I think it was no. a defensive player. He collided with another player, and it was like a really bad like leg injury. Um, no idea. Oh, I was going to ask y'all about injuries, but I honestly don't care because everybody's getting injured. Well, what's his name? Uh, the tight end for the Bears. Oh, he's walking again, right? Yeah, he's walking again. Yeah. Uh, they had they had Shazier at the Steelers game, sitting up in a box. Have they stated if he's ever going to be able to play again? Because I'm highly no. doubting it. They they haven't said yes or no. Last I don't even know if he was walking. Like that's they, they, they didn't they didn't show him like stand up or anything like that. They just showed him at the game waving around the towel, and everyone got excited about that. Obviously, watch well, it be one of those comeback stories. Like oh wow, he looks was... <laughs> right. Let me stop for really say something I'm regret. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so say something, say something shit. Right. <laughs> I was heading that way, but I'm gonna stop. <laughs> he's a good guy. What is it, alopecia? Um, <laughs> week sixteen, starting Saturday, Colts at Ravens. Uh, Ravens, yeah. All right, so <laughs> that's a game, like early game. Probably nobody's gonna watch that one anyway. I'm yeah, going Ravens. Where is that even at? It's in Baltimore. Oh. But this is a game I'll probably be paying attention to. The Saturday night game. Vikings Packers. Mm. Mm. In Green Bay, that's gonna be some booze coming out of that. Oh yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if some stuff gets thrown from the stands, man. Yeah. I'm not saying that Packers fans are petty. But um, no, they're not. They were that, that, that ruined their season straight yeah. up. Like you can, you can really. <laughs> that really cost them like a record and everything, man. Like that is not. Yo, I mean, like I said, if I was one of the fans and I was, I was like terminally ill, bro. <laughs> is he throwing snowballs or what? No, I'd be over there throwing bullets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, hey, I'm about to die anyway, man. So shoot. See, hey, you taking man. Vikings in this one? No. <laughs> no. I don't even care if I lose. They could put that in the L count. <laughs> if Rodgers plays, which I don't think he will because they're eliminating the playoffs, so they might as well let him rest. Don't risk it, especially against a team that hurt him in the first place. Um, I'm still going Green Bay. Huntley better do something, man. Huntley better, like, I, honestly, if I was a coach, you know, I'd run a bunch of crossing routes, bro, and risk some of these DBs getting knocked out, knocking themselves out. Run yeah. a bunch of cross routes and run a bunch of. Mm, I, this is going to be a petty game. This is going to be real chicken. I see some suspensions. <laughs> yeah, <for real. laughs> I see some suspensions. So I'm going Green Bay. I don't care. You got hers? Uh, Vikings. I want to go with Green Bay just because I want to see people get suspended. <laughs> Only reason why. Uh, Browns at Bears. <laughs> I would take Browns in this one. I need the Browns. I need the Cleveland to go 0 16 like the Lions did. <laughs> I need the Cleveland. The Cleveland. The mm-hmm. Elland. Yeah, I'm going Chicago. Yeah, I'm going to go Chicago. I oh, mean, I'm taking the Browns because I feel that old dude slowly getting his stride. Kaiser? No, not no, Kaiser. Gordon. 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 Oh, yeah. You just have one of his 200 yards. I, I have a feeling against the, against the Bears, I mean, it's like. Chicago defense ain't. Mm, it's not bad. Sleep on it now. Yeah. I mean, but it's. It ain't, I mean, it don't, the thing is, it's like, with, it's like with the Broncos defense, like the Giants defense. You, the offense right. can't do much, you get tired. Yeah, true. True, true. true. Lions at Bengals. Mm. Uh, Lions got him. Yeah, I'm taking Lions in this one. Yeah. Andy Dalton has been pathetic. Their coach is quitting. He's like, I'm done. Yeah. 15 years with this fool. I'm, I'm out of here. I can see Dalton being done after this year, too. What? What has he done? Dalton being done? As in, uh, he, he got, I mean, he, they might as well try somebody else. That'll be the worst idea ever. What are you talking about? Dude, Why, they, would, they've done anything else with him. You, yo, how would that be? You, you just advocated for a hypothetical situation, Super Bowl winning quarterback, fighting for his job. <laughs> But yes, you wouldn't keep, but you not really that good when you have all those weapons you, around you. It but you, matter. you, you, you want to keep Andy Dalton? Yo, Andy Dalton. If you look at his numbers, bro, you act, you act like he's not at least putting three hundred yards. Game. But he doesn't have the wins. Yeah, he doesn't with, have the wins with, because they don't have a defense. With, with, what, what, are you, what are you talking about? They don't have defense. They got, oh, they got, Burfisit, oh, one linebacker. All right. But they, they've <laughs> had they've had better defense in years past. They have, and they will go thirteen and three, and they will go twelve and four. They just couldn't and win playoff games. In the playoffs. Okay, that's not on him. Okay, what are you talking about? Your quarterback most of losses. Most of his losses are multiple interception games. And multiple touchdowns and always over 300 <laughs> yards. Like, you can't say Dal- Dalton is their franchise quarterback. You just got to 
He is, but give him some reason. Give him some. Oh, no, give him someone else besides AJ Green so they just don't double him all damn game. And yeah, then for real. <laughs> also, give yourself a defense that actually is respected. Those safeties are soft. Those corners are okay. Desmond King's okay. Um, they soft, but <laughs> soft like Charmin. But yeah, I mean, I'm not, not Desmond King. Uh, the, the quest Nard. Um, what kind of name is the quest? The quest. I mean, I don't know, but he's he's apparently Tr- he he is such he is the most. Trash. Respect the corner that like it shouldn't be respected. I've never seen. <laughs> Straight trash. Like ever, ever. Just call him trash, bro. Just, just do it, man. No, he, no, he is talented. I can't knock that. It's just I, I wouldn't be afraid Ooh, to throw him. Just call him trash. He's five. He's like five ten, five eleven. He's not. I wouldn't be afraid to throw that. Like to leave, I'd be like, okay. I mean, I mean he won't call him trash because he right. wants to keep Dalton as a quarterback. So oh, Dalton okay. is not a bum. Who are you gonna find that's better than Dalton, man? Dalton find somebody. It up. No, I, I, I'm pretty guy. sure I put Eli Manning oh back there. He'll do all right. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Dude, I can't believe you would. No. At least make a change, man. He hasn't. No, because you look at the numbers. Look, Keenum is not, Keenum is doing well, but yes. when has he ever done well? When has okay. Andy Dalton ever done this well? Is, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> when when, uh, when 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 Bengals had three straight seasons with 12 yeah. plus win games, and uh, what did they seasons? do with it? Okay, say what do you mean? What did they win a Super Bowl? They're, that's not. Oh, did they matter. win an AFC oh, Championship? Win a Super Bowl or you lose that's the job, whole point of playing a game. Okay, but still, that doesn't mean that you should trade him or yes, get rid of him just because he's been. I'm not saying trade him. I'm just saying playoff game. If Romo didn't done, do a lot of that. They didn't trade him. I'm saying. Well, who Romo? Twelve six win seasons are. It's not a failure. You talk about Romo? Yes. Well, because the Cowboys are garbage. They're stupid. Uh, okay, but all I'm saying is. When you have 12, 13 win seasons consecutively and all these all these yards, all these touchdowns, and you say, oh, no, because you didn't win a Super Bowl, we're going to trade you? Yeah. No. It's a waste of time. Stop no, paying those your aren't stats. losing seasons. Cincinnati is not, not a franchise that'd be like, all right, Super Bowl or bust. They're not like, no. Especially in the AFC. Then what, what's, the, the prime. what's the point of playing then? Bro, they were going 12 and 4, 13 and 3, when it was the Patriots still hot, Baltimore was still hot, Pittsburgh was still hot. They had a lot of teams, and they would always lose to one of those teams that would go on to win the Super Bowl or lose to the Patriots, and then Patriots go to the Super Bowl. Because they trash. It wasn't like he was. Uh, come on, bro. Are you seriously? Really? Really? Like, are you guys really going to argue this? And say Dalton's a bum when he had to go up against okay, three the reason- Hall of Fame? Well, one shouldn't be, but he probably will be. Three Hall of Fame quarterbacks and a Hall of Fame linebacker? Hey, all I know is Baltimore has a Super Bowl ring before he does. <laughs> yes, awesome they do stats. because they always had what? What if all three of those teams had that the Bengals never had? A defense. Heart. No. And well, he doesn't have heart. He doesn't have the tangibles to win a Super Bowl. Oh, my. But he has tangibles to win 13 games in a season. Who I mean, all does that? I feel like you can't, you can't you argue saying that the Bengals didn't have a defense, they man. They did not have they, a defense. They've had defense in years past. They've had linebackers. The they stayed, Okay, they still had... They, they've had decent defenses... To go with those 12, 12 or 13 wins, and they still... And they would lose, to ultimately, to the Steelers, who have way more than them, have way better defense. The Ravens, way better defense. Or the Pats, way better defense and offense. Right, but if they were... And coaches. <laughs> and all teams are better coaches. <laughs> so, come on, man. Like, you, you're saying Dalton's a bum, but look what he's got and look what he's done. Like, Cincinnati has always been a threat. They just... They just Listen, I'm not, I'm not saying he's a bum. I'm I just saying... They need to. They, they, it, it might be time to look at something else. Go time. a different path. All right, let's send him to Jacksonville and watch him win a Super Bowl. Trash. Okay, but send him to Jacksonville. Anybody go to Jacksonville Super Bowl with that team right now? That defense? No, any that's good the, quarterback. It says that's the you criteria a, now. Correct? Just defense. You yeah. send a Manning or a, a Dalton to. And you send one of those guys to Jacksonville and they win a Super Bowl. And that, that then the team who did that is going to be looking at how the Bills always look when so, they get rid of their players and then the players go to other places and ball out. So Don't, is Bortles going to win a Super Bowl? Bortles, Bortles. I mean, mm, no. No. So are you taking the lines of the Bengals? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, he, he's just started no, clowning. No, I'm taking the Lions because the Lions have something to play for still. Yeah, I'm going to take the Lions too. Yeah, I'm taking the Lions anyway. Uh, Rams the Titans. Rams. Rams. Uh, why are they even playing this game? Right. Uh, Dolphins at Chiefs. Although Titans are 8-6. and six, If you got a mind. They, they got something to play Titans. for, but they're, they're not going to be able to beat. I need the Rams to beat the Titans so the Ravens get back in the playoffs. Uh, Dolphins the Chiefs. What, they're not going to beat the Titans? You say you need the Titans to beat no, the Rams? No, I need the Rams to beat the Titans. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, uh, what was Chiefs? that? Dolphins and Chiefs. Chiefs. I mean, better be the Chiefs. Um, no, if they they can't let Jay Cutler have a good game. No, they Chiefs all day, baby. Uh, Bills and Patriots, which is always a weird game. It is. Somehow the Bills seem to... Always like this. They always seem to win. And it's in Foxborough yeah. where the... Patriots yeah. tend to lose that. Yeah, like is this really is really weird. I can see this being like that Dolphins game where yeah. against the Patriots where somehow they pull it out. And I don't know. I uh, like is, the is Shady win, hurt still? No, he shouldn't be. He was, I thought he was hurt. Oh, no, you're right. He, he came back. He's fine. Yeah. Yeah. He went out for like a play. No, I, I, 
I, I could see. <laughs> I can see the Bills giving the Patriots a run for their money, but I think ultimately it's going to be the Patriots. I don't think it's going to be a close game like it was with the Steelers game. I think the Patriots end up winning it, mm-hmm. but I think the Bills will try to fight them. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go pay Patriots. This game should be pretty good, though. Falcons and Saints. It ain't going to be if, if Atlanta look how they looked yesterday. It's going to be loud as hell, I'll tell you that. We're always about to run all over these guys. Yeah, hopefully. Is Kamara still hurt? No. No. Both of them, both of them are... Good good to go. They're but both back. They go. They go. I'm taking the Saints in that one. In Saints. just because of Kamara. Saints. Yeah, it, it, I think it's gonna be Saints. They Atlanta defense can't stop. Yeah, L- Lattimore actually was was doing was did very well one on one with Julio. Yeah, I mean, you hold Julio to even if it's seven catches and and seventy yards. That's you won. A, you won. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, bro, like that, that, that's a win. That's fourteen fantasy points, but you right. still won. Yeah. <laughs> Charges at Jets. Charges. Yeah, like, yeah. Jets are finally tanking. It's about time. Well, no. I don't know if they're tanking. They they put up a pretty good fight against New Orleans this past weekend. Yeah. I mean, I mean have the clown who, been in there, though? Yeah, that's what I was like. Who's the quarterback for the Jets right now? Some, some. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, Broncos, Redskins, and Landover, Maryland, where it's going to be like 10 degrees. Well. But they can breathe because it's not high up in those mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Reds. Yeah, I, I got I got to go against the Broncos. Yeah, team. if Brock Detron's starting, they're talking about bringing Paxton Lynch to start again. Yeah, the season's done, bro. Like, why? Yeah, what are y'all doing? Get, like, because we're playing for draft yeah. picks. That's what we're playing for. <sighs> playing for draft picks. Y'all gonna draw, uh Josh McCowan, not just, uh, Josh Rosen, or somebody like that? Hell no, nah. y'all need some receivers. You need a quarterback. What? Y'all need a new GM. Oh, are you kidding me? Y'all need a GM. That's what y'all need. Dude, out of those three guys, one of those guys can do it, bro. One of those guys can do it. Get better receivers. You have no receivers. No one respects. The, the, honestly, the, honestly, I feel like they, 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 like coaches can run whatever defense they want against the Broncos. I literally can't name one like, receiver on your team. No, I'm saying like really, like w- 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 really, you you don't have to load the box. Anderson's not that that much of a threat. Okay, so you but like you can run like a, a two linebacker five. You know, you know like in Madden where you like run whatever for shit yeah. you just want. Cover two sky. Cover one man. Like you, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> so so explain this to me. Expl- explain this to me. You're advocating for Trevor Simeon, <laughs> Rock Osweiler, or Paxton Lynch. And I Trevor Simeon, seventh round draft pick, who has been basically the, the starter since the Super Bowl year. Yes. Okay. Who he went nine and seven okay. the first year with injuries, and then here we are, basically going to go five and we're five and nine right now. Possibly going to go five and eleven by the end of the season, and then Brock Osweiler, who sat behind Peyton Manning for five years. Didn't resign after the Super Bowl. Went to the Houston Texans, and I guess he did all right. He made it to the playoffs, and then went to the Browns. Cleveland Browns, and couldn't even get a starting job there. And now he's back in the Broncos. That's not his fault. You own a, 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 a dysfunctional franchise. They're not, they don't know what they're doing. I, they they, t- they don't. Zero I agree. Win, so that isn't. The, the, I, I agree that they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> the Browns doesn't count to me. All right, I'm saying you got three quarterbacks that are all capable. They've all at times shown that they have the talent and the skill, but then they're not getting enough reps with the 18 because they're rotating quarterbacks so damn much. You don't really know who's your. They're rotating your because guy. there there's injuries. I mean, yeah, but I mean, the reps reps with the eight the, the first team matters. It, so, I, it does. It definitely does. I, I don't think that drafting another rookie, especially when these rookies don't look that promising to me. Um, I mean, I, I don't think know. You get rid of. Paxson, I, I don't like Paxson. He's, he's not going to be the guy. I don't guy. like his fucking name. What kind of name is that? It's a dumbass name. He, he's not going to be the guy. But get rid of him and go after whoever whoever the best rookie out there we can get and then just start over. Man, I, no. No, <laughs> you're not starting over with the defense that you have right now. That's that's, that's ridiculous. No. I mean, well. You did there, find somebody there's, in free agency, try to get Nick Foles on his contract, try to get Case Keenum. Okay, I can agree with that. Case Keenum. He's, he's not going to leave. But you'll see. But, I know he's not going to leave. But you'll see that he's not, he's not what you think he is. Case Keenum or maybe Nick Foles or a Kirk Cousins. I can see that. And not just yeah. a rookie. And then bolster up the defense and maybe get a receiver. A Kirk Cousins actually is not a bad idea. It's not. It's not. Even though I don't think he can rise to the occasion. Though. When the when lights get bright, he, he kind of shrivels up. Man, he hasn't really been in those situations. I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah. But, okay. I, I, I don't. I don't agree. I don't think that drafting a, a quarterback is a good idea for the Broncos. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Buccaneers <laughs> or Panthers? Uh, Panthers. Oh, yeah. Oh, Buc- Bucks are done. Bucks are trash. Yeah. yeah. Jags at 49ers? <clears throat> uh, Jags. 
Jags, but I want to see what Grob can do. Yeah. I want to see if Grob can do. Under- in a row? Yeah. In a row? He's undefeated so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, Grob, Grob can, uh, we'll see. Man, he's going to struggle. But Grob's going to, you're really going to see where his talent is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take Jaguars in this one just because I think they got the, the defensive edge. But I do want to see what Jimmy G is going to do. Uh, Seahawks and Cowboys. Oof. Man. After what, just, after what Gurley just did. And man. it's in, mm-hmm. it depends if Zeke Elliott plays, then I'm taking Cowboys all day because they'll run all over them. Yep. But if he doesn't, I think the Seahawks can pull this one out. <laughs> I mean, I think Seahawks are going to be angry after they got destroyed. Yeah, that's the main At reason. their home field this past week. All right, but Wagner ain't going to play. No. Right? So, he's he hurt, he no hurt too? Backers. Huh? He got hurt too? He got hurt, but he was kind of like, he wasn't ready. Were, like, oh, he, Wagner dude, wasn't, he played, but he was getting torched. That's yeah, why Gurley was ready. able to do all that. Yeah. <laughs> like, <God. laughs> so, nah, man, that's not a. Mm-mm. Yeah, it was. Dallas. Shit, I might have to I take Dallas now. Yeah. Uh Giants or Cardinals? Giants. Giants. Yeah, I'll take Giants, man. Eli Man is alive. <laughs> He's alive. Uh Steelers at Texans. Steelers. I don't even know why they're even traveling to Houston. Just give them the win. Like <laughs> it's, not, it's a waste of time. Especially two Monday night games. Like they're not even playing it. They're playing at 3 30 p.m. Central Time. It's Christmas. Oh, that is Christmas. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Dude, I, I, I guess even, this is our Christmas episode. Merry Christmas, y'all. I didn't re- <laughs> Dude, real talk, I didn't even realize what day it was. Like, to be honest with y'all. And then, Six uh, days away. Uh, oh, well, shows you how much I've been working. Uh, Raiders at Eagles. <laughs> Eagles. Mm, yeah, Raiders. Mm. I mean, Derek Carr's just fumbling into the end zone and stuff like that. So. Yeah. That rule is so stupid. That rule is so stupid. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> It's never happened so much, man. I really, (laughs) it's never caused so many games. Right. (laughs) Like, it's one thing if it happens in the second quarter, but this is like 30 seconds left in the game, bro. Touchback. Oh. Game over. Off that. So that's going to wrap it up for this week of TTS. I mean, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Uh, In the new year, I'm probably going to make some uh, changes to, like, the website and the video format. I've just been lazy. I mean, to be completely honest, I've been just lazy. (laughs) <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie about it. So, but, uh, expect some changes, especially with um, college basketball heating up, Ooh. NBA heating up as well. Arizona State's ranked number three right now. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. what? Bowl games. Bowl games. Oh, I was like, wait. I was like, hot. I, I was like, what are you, you got talking about? Some championship coming up, but uh, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. Yeah, if you, if you celebrate Kwanzaa. that, you know. And if you don't celebrate Happy anything, holidays. you know, if you don't celebrate anything, just go home, eat some cranberry sauce. Okay. Don't drink too much eggnog and drive. Well, you know, people nowadays are just going to... Like, well, yeah, I'm just saying, <laughs> you can't blame it on the eggnog itself. Yeah. I mean, they wouldn't spice milk. So we know who the alcoholic of the group is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Oh, yeah, so Defoe, where can they find you if they want to follow you, bro? Follow me? Yeah. In what? Street, son. Oh, you don't want to follow, follow me, man. <laughs> Trust me. You don't want to do that. All right, Harris, where can they find you if they want to follow you? Uh, you can find me, Cashes89, on Instagram, and uh, Facebook. And if you want to see pictures of stupid shoes and my dog, you follow me at MikeFloyd11. Also on Twitter, where I ran against Star Wars and everything else. So. Until next time, guys. Oh.